everything you can expect during this full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra. Get ready. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is a pick a card on everything you can expect during this full moon slash lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra. This is a big one y'all so get ready. If you guys have your handy dandy tarot journals or have just journaled in the past what may have happened or where you may have been during the last lunar eclipse in Libra, which was last October, I would get that ready and compare notes, okay? So again, we have three piles, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pile number ones, we have this gorgeous amethyst crystal with the emperor. Pile number twos, we have this stunning red jasper with the ace of pentacles and pile number threes we have this amazing unikite with the will of fortune so i'll give you all some time to meditate on your pile selection All right, my dreamy dreamers, again, pound number one, pound number two, and pound number three. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hey, pile number ones, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful amethyst crystal, like mini palm crystal, right? And the emperor so pile number ones ultimately what i'm getting in regards to what you can expect during this lunar eclipse full moon in the sign of libra is established an established sense of self but not only an established sense of self an established sense of autonomy right and this has been done through healing a lot of deep inner healing with this amethyst crystal card number four the emperor some of you all may be aries so happy birthday our aries aries season but a lot of you all have wanting have wanted to be for quite some time self-governed and this is almost like a wish fulfillment this is almost like something that you have really asked for a healing in your finances a healing in your self-autonomy your self-growth your personal development but overall maybe an enterprise an enterprisal healing right a healing in business a healing in income a healing in being able to have the resources um to self-govern okay and that's what i'm getting we have this little beautiful cute <laughs> Uh, emperor teddy bear who has a white beard which you know symbolizes wisdom you know they have they have ran the gamut when it comes to trying this trying that in order to gain a solid workflow and to make their pentacle but also having everlasting life with that unk card um i mean with that unk that this little emperor bear is holding on to and i feel like it has taken a lot of ancestral healing on your part pile number ones or it will right you're either in root or you're seeing kind of like the tides coming in your ships coming in from that ancestral healing and growth that you have been a part of okay so that's one part of what i'm getting um majorly during your reading i'm actually going to put your little crystal on top of here it's a good contrast with the yellow so now let's begin your reading so first pile number ones we're going to do a vibe check past present and future i kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit um just for creativity's sake okay so let's see thank you god thank you spirit for cleansing and blessing this deck i did cleanse and bless the decks off camera for giving clear concise accurate messages for our pile number ones um what's the vibe check during this full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of libra past present future first card will be past second card will be present third card will be future clear or no i'm so sorry first card will be present second card will be past third card will be future tell us more spirit 
Give us a vibe check. Okay, so this is present moment vibe check. Harmony, sun, and Libra. Okay, so some of you all might be Libras who chose this vow. If you are, happy birthday. I mean, happy birthday, Libras. I see you, Libras. Uh, second, you're harmonious. You're in complete and utter alignment with yourself and the spirit world in the universe, pile number um, ones. I just want you to know that divine connection, divine harmony. You could also be in harmony with your inner self as well, your higher self, right? So as that pertains to the emperor, maybe some of you all want to be self-governed or autonomous or own your own businesses or be your own boss or just be the boss, right? Um, you're in alignment to that. Um, card number seven, which is the seventh house, this could be also you're in alignment with, um, the relationships around you, all the relationships play a key and integral role around you is what I'm getting other harmony. So you're right in alignment as well with this full moon energy. Okay. So that is present. So now we're going to do past. Let's see what's, what was our pile number one's past vibe check spirit. What was our pile number one's past? Okay, you guys got a lot of cards, which we're going to ask for deeper clarity into that. Just one card, Spirit. What was our pile number one's past vibe check? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What were their past vibe check? What was their vibe in the past? Thank you. Okay, we have card number 12. Jupiter and Pisces with seduction. Who are you trying to seduce? Pile number <laughs> pile number um, ones. You know what? It's not really who you are trying to seduce, but what you are trying to call in. And with the 10th house, uh, Saturn in Capricorn, y'all are trying to call in some money, some riches, some abundance. And that's what's coming in. And I mean abundance in mind, body, and spirit. That's what I'm getting. Okay. But let's see. What is our pile number one's future vibe check spirit? Future vibe of our pile number ones as it pertains throughout this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra. What's the future vibe check of our pile number ones? Come on, we have card number four, Mercury and Cancer with intuition. Y'all's intuition has been blaring, okay? You all are the oracle. You all have this divine knack for hunches, you know, for not only hunches, but adhering to hunches as well, following your intuition and being able to guide others um, with your intuition as well. Pile number ones, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have house 11 with Venus in Aquarius detachment. And it's because there's a sense of detachment to the outcome. It's like almost like working for working's sake, working because you enjoy it, putting in effort because that's what you simply want to do as opposed to what you feel like you have to do, right? That's what I'm getting here. So now we're going to check your main energy throughout this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra. So I'm going to use the Green Witch Oracle. We have cleansed off, off uh, camera, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number one spirit. What is their main, what is pile number one's main energy throughout this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra? Just one card. What is pile number one's main energy? I want to take this one. Come on, card number 29, fertility, watermelon. Some of you are starting to want to eat more seasonally, so you want to eat like whatever is growing in that season. I want to say if it's springtime, you know, maybe peaches or strawberries, whatever grows in spring. If it's summertime, you want to, you might want to eat some watermelon. Watermelon would be good in the spring too, because the temperatures kind of go up, you know, they waver back and forth from, you know, being high and sunny to, you know, having a little rain, things of that nature. So what I'm getting here is whatever you touch grows, you know, and it's not even the notion like, oh, whatever I touch turns into gold. It's kind of like that, especially calling in riches, but it's like whatever I put my effort into, it grows in abundance with fertility here. That's what I'm getting. We have Leo energy and water, the water emblem here. Card number 29. Some of you all may have started the the ball rolling when you were 29 years old and then boom here here comes the the um fertility 
the fruitfulness of your work, right? But others of you might be might be 29 or turning 29 if you are happy birthday, but others of you two and nine, which is 11, you could be seeing 11, 11 a lot, which is coinciding with that intuitive nature of yours, okay? So now let's get, let's delve into your tarot pile number ones, okay? And gain a deeper clarity and insight into everything you can expect during this full moon lunar eclipse tell us more spirit give us clear concise accurate messages for our pile number ones and give us deep clarity and insight into everything our pile number ones can expect come on <laughs> during this lunar eclipse in libra okay so we have the tower you guys expect a sudden change and, it, and it's interesting because I'm getting a sudden change in direction with this page of wands. It's almost like you're going to feel this newness again, this rebirth, this renewal of a newfound spirit that is lighting up inside of you with the page of wands. Expect an amazing message. Expect good news. This could be in regards to travel. This could be in regards to taking a risk, going somewhere, maybe going on an adventure. And spirit is telling you to go for it with the page of wands. Whatever news is coming up for you, um, pile number ones, buckle up your seatbelts because it's going, I feel like you've, you've been having an intuitive hunch about this. I feel like in regards to your future, um, vibe check, once you get this news, it's like kind of like radical explosion on something. You're going to be like, I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You're going to be the one to tell people I told you so you might not, you might not exercise that right, but you are going to tell people, I told you so. I called it. I called it. And people are just going to be like, she's right. They're right. He's right. They called it, you know? So let's gain more deeper clarity, deeper insight into everything our pile number ones can expect dur during this full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, spirit. So let's see what we have here. We have judgment, baby. Okay, come on, 1010. Some of y'all could be seeing 1010 or uh, the number 20, but there's gonna be this revival, this revitalized energy. And it's interesting because we have the tower and the judgment card. You are reaping what you have been sowing pile number ones. And what is that? I feel like it's something good here, especially, especially with that page of wands, having a can do attitude, having a can do spirit, having a solution based spirit. It can be done. It will be done, right? That type of energy here and spirit is blessing you. You're getting blessings. You're receiving blessings and a call, maybe specifically even from Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel. I think this might be Gabriel here but i could be wrong you guys let me know in the comments below what angel is this on the judgment card it might be gabriel because i know gabriel is the trumpet blower or the horn blower but you guys let me know there is a revival there is an awakening there is an ascension happening okay for a lot of you all during this lunar eclipse full moon in the sign of libra Come on. Some of you all have been asking for an extra stream of income, a consistent stream of income, and you're getting it with the two of pentacles here, right? And you're learning how to balance the workflow. You remember where I said workflow earlier with that emperor card? Boom. It's here. You're, you're, you're learning how to forever balance with this, uh, Lemiscit. Lemiscus? Lemiscit? I don't know what the proper terminology for the infinity sign in the tarot is called. I think it's called the Lament. Leminskit or something like that. But anyways, you are learning how to forever balance what you're asking for. However, for how to forever balance your emotions with your practical nature, right? Your day-to-day -day workflow. And you're doing a really good job or you will be. Come on. What did I say? And we have the star, this healing, this ancestral healing that you have been doing, but not necessarily just for yourself, you, just in proximity, just by healing yourself first, you have allowed this to emanate into the world, reverberate into the world and the consciousness into others, pile number one. So congratulations. And with this big 
with this big North Star here, you've been following your North Star. You've been following your destiny, your divine path. And this is why you're seeing the success or will be seeing the success that you have been asking for and calling in during this uh, full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra. That's so wild. We also have the star card here, that Aquarian energy. It is your time. I feel like a lot of you all in pile number ones are, are the humanitarians of the Zodiac. You guys love to give. And because you love to give right with fertility, uh, you guys love to watch things grow, watch people grow, watch, you know, um, anything grow, right? And if you have, if you're able to, uh, help in the process of that, you most certainly will. That's what I'm getting here. You guys are now the giver becomes the gift and vice versa. If that makes sense. Shout out to Florence Koval Shin, because now you've given so much spirit is about to give to you tenfold during this lunar eclipse. Full moon energy pile number one. So beautiful. And not only is this beautiful, we have one, two, three, three major arcanas here. One, two, three. The tower, <laughs> judgment, and the star. How beautiful of a reading is this thus far? It's stunning. It's amazing. And it's because you all have been putting in the work. You've been sending that good, ample energy to you and yours, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. Okay. So let's get more into this reading for you. Pile number ones. There's something starting and there's something you're going to be able to balance on the day to day as well. But I just wanted to make that message clear. Okay. So let's get more into it. So, um, this is stunning. This is something you've been asking for, but let's see. Um, what else? What else? What is one of the last manifestations that are coming to our pile? Number ones. What is one of the last manifestation or manifestations that are coming to pile number ones during this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra? Look at that bottom of the deck look at this last quarter moon in virgo attend to the details there's something god is in the details pile number ones so there's something about attending to something that you're going to be doing and 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 being meticulous at something and i feel like this is kind of like a prior energy last quarter moon in virgo attend to the details you have been attending to the details. So now the details are about to show up in full for you. Okay. Because you have been meticulously sowing certain seeds or doing something. Now you're about to see it fully blown and manifested. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hey, how beautiful is this card? But we'll get to that. We have full moon and Capricorn take a reality check. Very interesting. So with the full moon and Capricorn, I have a feeling there's something very luminous and bright coming your way. And I have a feeling you're going to have to really take it all in. Take it all in. It's like a reality check. It's like, whoa, did I do this? Did I manifest this? Did I make this happen? And the answer is yes. That is your reality. But I'm going to read a little bit more for you all here. And then we have full moon in Pisces with forgive, 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 and forgive again. Not just for those who have quote unquote hurt or wronged you, but for yourself. And I feel like you have come to that and you have forgiven and forgiven and forgiven again. And now you are about to reap the rewards of what a clean heart can attain. Okay. But let's see this. Let's see. Let's grab this guidebook. Full moon in Capricorn. Very interesting. So let's grab it. Okay. So the full moon in Capricorn reads, this card has two sides of it, literally and metaphorically. If you've been worrying about something, the good news is that you shouldn't waste another moment worrying as this won't help. <laughs> Some things only happen once. That can be really good news, right? If you're wondering about how something you're keen on is going to turn out, 
this card could be a sign that you've hit hit a roadblock. If you want to change that, you're going to need to put in an extra effort with your manifestation work. Now, this could be in regards to attend to the details, right? Maybe there's a little bit more details you have to attend to right prior to this manifestation hit. But let's see. It says, um, find a balance between facing your reality wow find a balance between facing your reality and be kind to yourself and others manifesting mindset if you're not happy with this message of, if you're not happy with the message of this card use the old trick of finding the best thought you can about your situation and go from there um and this is like it says your manifestation affirmation everything is always working out in my favor okay so i love this i love this i love this and what I'm getting here, pile number ones, is in regard to attending to the details. I feel like you have already attended to a detail. And I feel like this reality check is something you're going to have. The reality check is going to be like, wow, I manifested this. I manifested this. I, alongside spirit co-creating, manifested this, right? It's, it's almost going to be a shock to you to the point where it's has to be a reality check. Like, yep, yep, yes, you put in the work. You put in the work, you manifested it, you did it, right? That's the reality check that I'm getting. Now, take what resonates for you because with the judgment, the tower, the judgment, and the star, come on, come on. And the page of wands, pages are always a sign of a message. And the page of wands is a good news message regardless now let's see full moon and pisces forgive and i feel like maybe these are the energies the last manifestations because we did ask what are the last manifestations that are going to come through is you will be forgiving because of this reality check that wow my life is how i've always wanted it to be or something like that right so let's see full moon and pisces forgive now it says, be careful that you're not coming at your current situation with your mind made up. This card is a reminder that life is an unfolding mystery and you need to go with it. Instead of trying too hard to tick every box for your dreams to come true, fall into the dreams of a little. Okay? Oh, no, wait. Fall into the dreams of a little. It could well be that what's blocking your current manifestation is that you haven't forgiven yourself or someone else for something that happened in the past to boost your manifestate manifesting powers forgive yourself and anyone else who needs forgiveness you have you've had this reality check i'm sorry i feel like this is something in the past for you pile number ones and you have had this reality check and you've healed from this tremendously and if even if you haven't you're it's either you're about to do this during this um full moon lunar eclipse and then it's going to open up the floodgate for all of this success to come your way and that's that tower moment right you're going to have like this epiphany to where it's like i just forgive everyone and everyone forgives me i love everyone and everyone loves me and then you're going to fully realize that you know there will be a full blown realization of that and then this fertility is going to happen. Now, this could happen during the next eclipse cycle, the solar eclipse, which I believe is on the 8th of April. Don't quote me, but that's what I heard through the grapevine. So if that's the case, pile number ones, then just get ready for a beautiful eclipse season that you have so deserved, okay? Cause you've worked so hard for all right so we're gonna end your message i know i had to kind of straighten this up a little bit all right so much better so let's end your message with a roll of the astro dice last messages for our pile number ones to conclude their reading spirit during this any last things they can expect people places things circumstances situation during this full moon <laughs> lunar eclipse in the sign of libra so we have aquarius energy so let's see that aquarius energy rolled out that's healing that's that star card that's the emphasis on the star card and then this looks like a malachite crystal so 
Get ready for your blessings to come. Okay. Last messages. And you guys hear that? Those sirens? Come on. You can't make it up. South node with the 12th house. So yeah, you're releasing something. You're healing from something. You're healing from something. Come this um, lunar eclipse full moon in Libra. Pile number ones. You're healed. Consider yourself healed. A spiritual healing. A spiritual cleanse. To this isn't really even necessarily about emotions. This is about an air of detachment and how that's freeing you up spiritually, if that makes sense. Being detached or unattached is a very spiritual thing in nature when you don't have any expectation of the outcome, when you're not attached to an outcome per se, okay? All right, pile number one, such a beautiful reading. I really hope you all resonated with this message. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, and anyone who may benefit from the messages provided here today. If you all are interested in a gorgeous one-of-a-kind tarot journal, look no further. The link to that will be in the, in the description box down below. It's on Amazon, so you guys can purchase it everywhere. It will ship to your house, okay? Also, if you're interested in a private reading with me, look no further. The link to my website is there so you guys can book. And I would love to be your tarot reader, okay? So I love you all so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number twos. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this gorgeous red jasper along with the ace of pentacles so pile number twos my pile number twos there's a beautiful tangible opportunity that's coming in for you my pile number twos during this full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of libra and let me tell you you have crossed through this portal you have crossed through this threshold in order to get to this opportunity this is an opportunity that you all have been really wanting to call in and manifest in some way shape or form now i want to get more specific with your crystal selection this red jasper so let's get into it please excuse my ash on my hands so uh we have red jasper it says is gently stimulating its grounds it grounds energy and uh, rectifies unjust situations red jasper brings problems to light before they become too big and provide insights into the most difficult situations it makes an excellent worry bead calming the emotions when placed with when placed underneath the pillow it helps dream or call hmm. red jasper stimulates base chakras and assist rebirthing it cleans stabilizes the aura and strengthens your boundaries this is a stone of health strengthening and detoxifying the circulatory system the blood and the liver it dissolves blockages in the liver or bile ducts position based chakra as appropriate so what i'm getting with this is there there's a new opportunity this could even be in regards to some of you all's health or detoxing or cleansing yourself and i think this is right on time and in alignment with this um spring equinox that just happened yesterday i'm filming this on the 20th the spring equinox happened on the 19th so i feel like you guys could be given this like new zest for life this newfound energy this newfound uh like almost like a clean bill of health or something that's going to come in your way all right so we're going to put your crystal in your card here and let's begin my dears hope that looks okay that's a little crooked looking on my end okay there we go excuse me so let's get a vibe check past present and future for our pile number twos during this full moon lunar eclipse in libra past present and future vibe check let's check the vibes of our pile number twos past present future first card will be present second card will be past third card will be future okay okay spirit has spoken so we have our first card was which is the present eighth house moon in scorpio with power you are a very powerful person i feel like you feel like you have um 
you've led many lives is what I'm getting also and you're not afraid to go deep pile number twos and with this what I'm also getting you remember that threshold um and that portal I said you were entering this is giving that okay so I have a feeling that you're going to be given a lot of opportunities and the vibe check of your current position or of your current um energy is you, you feel very powerful right you feel very powerful you feel very on top of your spirituality and on top of your in intuition it's almost like you're all seeing you know but let's see let's get a vibe check for you in the past clear concise accurate vibe for our pile number two's past how was our pile number two's vibes in the past spirit clear concise accurate messages okay i like this structure order we have moon and virgo sixth house okay you've been aligning things you've been getting your ducks in a row and putting your affairs in order so to speak pile number um pile number twos right and i like that how it's skipping a step and because you've done this right the sixth house is also about routine establishing a routine as it pertains to health it could be that right because it's the sixth house is ruled by virgo which is all about holistic holistic approaches to health excuse me i hear there's a retrograde coming in this eclipse season so i feel like it's already kind of taking a toll on how i'm able to dictate my speech my speech so excuse me so we have moon in virgo and moon in scorpio which i think is very interesting and the moon talks about our feeling state so uh, i feel like one minute it took you feeling like you needed to get your affairs in order, like you needed to get your ducks in a row, like you needed to like align your steps and prepare for something, right? Whether that be your health, whether that be your energy levels, right? Because a lot of the times when we're talking about health, sometimes it's for aesthetic purposes, right? But I feel like you've been calling in a lot of stuff. So you've been wanting to endow yourself with the energy to handle it once it comes in once you've been presented with that opportunity right and i feel like with the red jasper you took a very grounded approach to that pile number twos now with the moon in scorpio being that's where your power lies you're also because you have been taking charge of your health getting your steps and orders uh, your affairs and orders, things of that nature, there's a sense of power there. You feel more powerful than you have, right? You could have reached that stamina. And I feel like, you know, you might feel happier or like you're able to kind of like conquer certain things. And I feel like it's been doing a wonders with your intuition as well. But let's see your future vibe check. What's the vibe check of our pile number twos in the future? One last card, future vibe check for our pile number ones. I mean, for our pile number twos. Future vibe check for our pile number twos. One card, spirit. Okay, you guys got two cards. Spirit just wanted you to know all the tea. So we have the 10th house moon in Capricorn. How many moons? This has been cyclic. This has been something in regards to these moon cycles, right? Maybe in one moon area waxing waning whatever it was in virgo and then it was in scorpio and then it was in is that's not the order but and then it was in capricorn right so that's what i'm getting here and we have uh the 11th house with mars in aquarius rebellion two by two what did i say oh, okay and then you skipped a stage because you were doing so well and then you skipped a stage because you were doing so well pile number twos okay and now we're going to the straight and narrow, right? Rebellion. You're thinking outside of the box as it pertains to something else in your future. Your future vibe is practical, but with an edge, <laughs> you know? It's practical, but with an edge, especially with that Mars in Aquarius with rebellion. You're, you're, you're making sure you're getting everything done, but you're doing it how you want to. Pile number twos, okay? And this is beautiful. It's at the bottom of the deck. Card number eight, uh, Jupiter in Scorpio with manipulation. Because you have mastered the mind, you have mastered the mind and the subconscious, and now you're able to manipulate things almost like free, free will. You're able to manipulate things to work for you in the best way ways they fit for you if that makes sense because you've mastered something 
so thoroughly pile number twos that was deep but i figured it would be with uh this moon and scorpio energy coming out three moons three moons i feel like it took three moons in order to master something and now that you have something's gonna take off and it's because you rebelled you rebelled against the status quo you rebelled against the mundane the norm things of that nature so now we're going to get your main energy throughout this full full moon lunar eclipse in libra tell us more spirit what is our pile number two's main energy throughout this full moon lunar eclipse in libra spirit clear concise accurate messages what is our pile number two's main energy what is pile number two's main energy throughout this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra? What's their main energy spirit? Come on. We have passion and love at the bottom of the deck. Card number 30, Libra energy, water energy, love potion. And we have tomato, red, juicy, voluptuous love. There's a lust for life that's reinvigorating in your world. And there could be an offer here. We have card number seven, passion with beetroot. A lot of earth energy here too. Setting something aflame. We have emphasis on red here as well. Beetroot with passion. It's a little purplish and red. Maybe the root chakra and then the crown chakra. Something that has the Shakti energy maybe even perhaps. Right? And then we have this Leo energy here with the will, the sun, something orbiting around you. But you feeling very passionate and rooted to your cause, right? Card number seven. That could also um, denote the seventh house energy with this with this Libra energy, right? This Libran approach to something. Okay, hold on. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. All right. So let's let's delve deeper. Let's get deep clarity and insight into everything our pile number ones can expect during this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. Can we go deeper in clarity and insight into everything our pile number twos need to know during this lunar eclipse in Libra spirit? Deep clarity and insight into everything our pile number twos need to know. Okay. Wow. 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 <laughs> Pile number twos, y'all wildin', y'all wildin'. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take these two because they're upright. Something's coming in quick. This could have been in regards to an investment that you made, right? This could even be an investment opportunity that's coming in for you. Pile number twos, something rooted and stable and practical that you can literally take to the bank and grow at your own leisure, right? And I say this because there's something, this could be something you're passionate about too, because we have the Ace of Wands here. This represents passion, inspiration, um, you know, a, a creative energy too, because this Ace of Wands is a phallic symbol, right? So this could be just something that is inspiring you or is encouraging you to take inspired action. And I think it's interesting because we have the Ace of Wands and then the Ace of Pentacles here. And this is something that you have almost like wanted to give birth to or these two opportunities that are facing each other, right? It's like you're going all in. You're going head to head with an opportunity, so to speak, right? So let's see. What's the next three cards? King of Pentacles. Come on. This is you. This is you. Practical power and order and establish a routine and stability. This is what you have been calling in. A sense of increase, abundance prosperity that you have been asking for and we have the queen of pentacles a divine counterpart a union Ooh, you can't make this up that's wild so wild so crazy pile number pile number twos pile number twos something that you have invest has in something that you have invested in is coming back to you in dividends and it's coming in quickly right i feel like you maybe have thought like should i keep investing investing in this is this even worth it or should i take a new route a new opportunity right bottom of the deck the empress you're receiving <laughs> that is so wild pile number two this is an outstanding reading 
<sighs> because you've waited, because you've tended your soil, because you have tended to your garden, an opportunity is being presented to you here that's going to make you very prosperous, very prosperous indeed. And uh, it's going to shower you in abundance. This could be a, a romantic relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but it could be. Because in the traditional Rider Waite tarot, in which I'm using, uh, they represent the Eight of Wands as the arrows of love, right? And what do we have at the bottom of the deck here? Love. And we have a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles. It's almost like you've had to order your steps to attain your power and autonomy first. And then, boom, that's when the commitment happened. That's when you find your divine counterpart. That's when you create your own reality. And abundance and fruitfulness and fertility within your life okay some of you all maybe have chosen another pile as well i just seen 1414 14 on the clock that might resonate with some people so i'll go check that um angel number out but again you are the empress you know you have attained a certain amount of power a certain amount of glory beauty prosperity the whole nine right and this could be through a, a uh, what do you call it? Um, a dynamic partnership as well. A partnering with someone else. Very beautiful. Or this could just be you just owning your queendom, kingdom, empire, something. You're the head honcho. You're the head honcho. Pile number twos. Finally. I feel like this is like a finally. Like <laughs> now because I played by the rules, I can create my own rules with this Mars and Aquarius rebellion. Once this hits, once this um manifestations hit manifestation hits, y'all are gonna be a, a whole different person. And I don't mean you're gonna switch up, but you're gonna switch up the order, the pecking order. And this won't take long. 10 to 11, that's not going to take long. You didn't skip any steps here. You said, uh, you know, I'm going to just go about it, you know, the way in which I want to. And it's interesting because the king of pentacles has a scepter. So does the empress. The king of pentacles and so does the empress. And that scepter reminds you of your power, your royalty, and your autonomy in wielding your power. Whew, this was a deep one, but let's see. Tell us more, Spirit. What last manifestations are coming in for our pile number twos during this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra? Okay. So, let's see here. <laughs> new moon in Libra. Know that you are love. What were you doing this new moon in Libra? Who are you with? What signs, synchronicities did you get that showed you that this was all coming? It's almost like you, you really tended to something, whether this was a relationship, whether this was something, your health, your wealth, your prosperity, whatever this was on the tangible on earth, you tended to it nonstop. And now it's here to tend to you pile number twos. Okay. So we're going to do a last roll of the, di the dice, last roll of the dice. Any last messages you would like to send to our pile number two spirit in regards to this full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra? Clear, concise, accurate messages. We have Neptune, Leo in the fifth house. Spirit wants you to play. Play with your mind. Play with your imagination. Well, not play with your mind. I know that sounds crazy, but it's almost like what are your dreams? What are your goals? Go for it. Go after it. Now you can. And now you can kind of let your hair down. Um, the fifth house is ruled by Leo, right? This is all about public displays. This could be like acting, um, being in the center stage. What are your dreams? Your dreams are manifesting. So what do you want to do? Double down and get clear. You might be experiencing these dreams coming to fruition and having a fun time playing out scenarios and doing what you want because you've done the work you've ordered your steps and now your manifestation is here and now you could pretty much do what you want <laughs> within reason with you know with no harm done to yourself or others but you're calling the shots pile number twos you are calling the shots okay my dreamy dreamer so fabulous reading fabulous read i love you all so much my dreamy dreamers i really hope this message resonated with you and i really hope um you guys got something out of it if you did please hit that thumbs up like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who does benefit from the messages provided here today 
if you are interested in a gorgeous one of a kind tarot journal look no further you can purchase off of amazon the link is in the description box down below and if you're interested in booking a private personal reading with me look no further go to my website and you can purchase one there i love you all so very much and i'll see you in your next reading bye hey pile number threes welcome back to your reading so let's get started you all chose this gorgeous unikite jasper crystal along with card number 10 the will of fortune which is the major arcana your destiny is turning your destiny is shifting pile number threes um especially as it pertains to this lunar uh full moon eclipse in the sign of libra okay so i feel like a lot of you all are really um in connection with your head and your heart like you guys are in almost perfect alignment with things and you're starting to see the will turn to your favor you're starting to face that true no north or you've been facing that true north and you will have this um this blessing come out of it um you know the will of fortune is ruled by jupiter and jupiter is all about blessings expansion and growth i do want to read to you all a little bit of information from the crystal bible on the unikite crystal so it says unikite is a stone of vision it balances emotions with spirituality placed on the third eye it opens it and promotes visualization and psychic vision this stone also provides grounding when it is needed and can be useful after meditation or psychic work so what i'm getting is there was a vision that you guys saw for your life and uh advantage advantageously crafted and now it's coming to fruition now you're starting to see the will turn in your favor as it pertains to your destiny i'm getting maktub uh it was written from the um book the alchemist by paulo coleo i could be saying his last name wrong so excuse me if i'm mispronouncing it but maktub it was written it was written in the stars for you and you all have had this deep inner knowing that you were supposed to be something big, do something bold in this lifetime. And here is your confirmation pile number three. So I'm dying to get into your reading because it sounds juicy and historic. <laughs> okay. So let's delve deeper into your reading. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with a vibe check past, present, future. Okay. Uh, first card is present. The uh, next card is past, and then the third card will be future. So let's see. What is our pile number one's current vibe check? What is our, excuse me, pile number three? Some of y'all could be, have come from pile number ones. What is our pile number three's current vibe check spirit? Past, present, future. What, what is pile number three's past, present, future vibe check? Three card spirit. What's our pile number three's vibe check right now? Okay, so this one came out first. This one came out second. Let's get one more card. I'm kind of just got the urge to pull this one because it was like poking out of the deck. So we're going to trust in our intuition. All right. So pile number ones, let's begin. Your current vibe check. Come on, what did I say? Card number 10. 10, 10, 10. A lot of you all could be seeing 10, 10, which is the number of clear cognizance, knowing like you know, like you know, you're destined for greatness, you're destined for riches, you're destined to make something happen on the material, okay? We have the 10th house with Saturn and Capricorn because y'all have been working your butts off. You're sticking to the plan, pile number threes, and your heart and your mind are in cooperation cooperation <laughs> with each other okay they're in cahoots they're in cahoots card number 10 you're fulfilling something this person this angel holds this cornucopia with two babies and it is what looks like our man and a woman which to me is symbolizing the fruits of your labor cotton candy clouds things are going to not just be rich but beautiful in essence and aesthetically pleasing for you in uh in regards to what's to come but this is your current vibe you guys are very rich wealthy and i don't just mean on the external from the inside out okay your past vibe card number three flattery we have mercury and gemini i feel like the way in which you communicated right communicated something this could be 
this could be in regards to like siblings, people who are like siblings to you, um, through your neighborhood, you flattered the right person. You've been flattering the right person. You've been talking to the right person. Okay. Two sides of the coin. You have been talking and face to face with the right person who maybe you've seen a like likeness, like likeness in or akin to, right? Flattery got you everywhere. Pile number, uh, pile number threes, pile number three, card number three, right? And we we're talking about the third house, which is ruled by Gemini, I believe, which is ruled by Gemini. And it represents communication. It could represent siblings or it could also represent the neighborhood as well. But conversation rules a nation and you have been able to flatter the right person due to the conversation that you carry or or are able to hold right and your future vibe check <laughs> come on you can't make this up you can't make this up pile number three is ninth house which talks about spiritual growth ruled by sagittarius saturn and sagittarius fulfillment what is what is that what is that a bag of money okay what is that look he's pointing to the bag of money he's pointing to more ships coming in fulfillment he this person is very fulfilled okay fat and happy so to speak you know belly's full he's he he's been eaten okay and 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 it's because he's had a clarity of mind heart and 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 soul right i want to read this card to y'all pile number pile number threes because this is going to be a beautiful reading you're going to be very enthused with your next cycle of life and i feel like you all have been bracing for the impact of this y'all have been bracing for the impact of this abundance that's going to come your way or that has already come your way or that will be coming your way okay so let's see let's get saturn and y'all have been working very hard studiously for this Okay, so we have fulfillment. Let's get this card so you guys can see it in plain view. So we have card number nine, fulfillment, Saturn and Sagittarius. We have Sag uh, Saturn, ambition, Sagittarius, optimism and adventure. A merchant sits on a chest at the quiet side, aw awaiting the arrival of a sailing ship from abroad. In the foreground is a large sack of money. Above is an ancient talisman to bring good fortune in any lottery. And we have the will of fortune. Some of y'all might hit the proverbial lottery, but it might, it could be the, you know, the essence of a lottery. You go in and play some numbers and the, them hitting, right? So you, some of y'all could be actually winning a, a real, like a, a normal lottery. But I feel like this is more of a proverbial lottery. Like you've been putting in time, effort, intention, and resources and you're going to get that back times 10 times 10 by 10 and that's what i'm getting here pile number pile number threes get ready for your blessings are you ready for your miracles to commence because they're here for you flattery riches and fulfillment it's not just the riches that are coming in. Yes, you're going to have a lot of money. Yes, there will be an increase in your abundance on the physical, but also an increase in your overall fulfillment, in your happiness, in your disposition, in your enthusiasm, in the way you go about things. In your life, there's going to be this ultimate fulfillment. This like, yes, I set my mind to it and I did it. That's the ut utmost fulfillment. Regardless of money and physical, tangible items, I told myself I would do something and it got done, you know, because that involves your integrity. And when you have a strong ethic and integrity and you win because of it, not in spite of it, the world is yours. The world is yours. Pile number three. Okay. So that's your vibe check, right? Past, present, and future. Now let's get into the main energy throughout this full moon, lunar eclipse, and Libra for you all. So we're going to start with the Green Witch Oracle. Tell us more, spirit. Give us the main energy for our pile number threes throughout this full moon, lunar eclipse, in Libra. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number three's main energy throughout this full moon, lunar eclipse, and Libra. Y'all seen this? It, it just mm, daintily flipped right out. We have card number 19, 
fire with strength and fennel. It's because you've persevered. It's because you have persisted. Even in spite certain times you may have thought you weren't able to, right? Come on, bottom of the deck, card number 15, happiness. You're happy. Get ready for your blessings. Get ready for your miracles. Pile number threes because they're here for you. Not only are you about to be bountiful when it comes to an increase in monetary value or monetary uh, riches, but there's going to be an overall sense of fulfillment in your life that you have been dreaming of, literally. Like, look at these pink clouds. Like, you can't make this up. You've been dreaming of, you're going to feel like you're floating on a cloud, like you are literally in a living dream here. And it's because you kind of are, you know, you kind of are, you, you've done this, you've done this work, you've done this, you've made this tangible for yourself, pile number um, threes, and you should give yourself a round of applause. You know, you didn't do it by yourself, you know, spirit was in constant alignment and uh, assistance <laughs> and moving the ship forward when it came to it right we're co-creators but you have really done your you've really upheld your part of the bargain when it comes to making this happen so you should really be grateful and be um proud of yourselves right so now we're going to get into deep clarity and insight into everything our pile number threes can expect during this full moon lunar eclipse in libra tell us more spirit about everything look this came out during the pre-shuffle you have left something that no longer serves you and we're going to see what it is i'm going to check at the bottom of the deck maybe this is a poverty consciousness maybe this is a lack consciousness maybe this is just stuff that you've been wanting to kind of leave for a while and just didn't know where to start right come on come on three of wands you're looking and it's interesting because in this eight of cups and sorry for kind of jumping around pile number threes, but in this eight of cups is a lunar eclipse is happening, right? And this person, they've done all they can do with these eight cups and they're going to find their ninth cup, which is fulfillment, right? Which is satisfaction with the nine of cups, which is their wishes being granted, right? You know, they had a good run with these eight of cups, but now they're going to go get their emotional needs and fulfillment and um, monetary needs met, right? They're looking for bigger and better. They're looking to expand. Okay, but let's see. Tell us more, spirit. Give us everything our pile number threes can expect during this full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra. Tell us everything. Look at this. We have the page of wands. So in comes a messenger with good news. This could be about monetary value. I am so sorry. Pile number threes. This was all out of whack, my friends. This could be about monetary value. Um, a stable foundation that you could hold on to. Okay, being able to invest your money too is what I'm getting or save, but save in a way where it doesn't feel like penny pinching, but an investment like keeping it. But let's see. Tell us everything our pile number threes. Okay, the devil, we got the devil here. Let's see. Hyper Capricorn energy. I will say that, but let's see. This story is not done being told. Tell us more, Spirit. Last card. Tell us everything. Our pile number threes. Look, the cards are just flying out. We have the Ace of Swords here. Yeah. There's a clarity. There's been an erosion. And this is like the only like kind of like dark energy card, so to speak. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is what you're leaving. Self-imposed limitations. Feeling, feeling frightened. Feeling afraid to express yourself and to be clear on the things that it is that you want or expect from either people, places, or your environment around you. I just seen 1414 on the time clock. This is my second time in the second pile that I've seen 1414. So I'm going to look that up in a little bit. But again, pile number three, this is, this is amazing. You are leaving behind addictions, toxicities, toxic relationships that just no longer serve you. If they're not advancing you, if they're not growing you, if they're not, um, making you expand you're out of there you're out of there pile number 
um, threes. And I feel like with the page of wands, expect some good news. There could be some flattery coming your way. Uh, someone could be kind of like bigging you up and just giving you that right amount of um, good talk that you need in order to do something. Now, this could be invest. This could be about your finances or something like that. This could be holding on to something, maybe in relation to your heart chakra. This could be even finding clarity um, in releasing a toxic relationship or a relationship with something that no longer holds any space in your life. And you are claiming victory of overcoming that right getting through that with the ace of swords here so there's a new beginning in my mind and thought right is what i'm getting here too i f what did i want to ask clarity about i thought i wanted some clarity oh i think it was with the eight of cups but i think we got the clarity here and you're going on this newfound adventure i feel like whatever your mind can conceive it can achieve and you know your your spirit guys are telling you to go for something go for the gusto if you have this newfound sense of inspiration or this spark of something go for it but i feel like there's a message coming in for you this could be about your money i'm going to clarify this four of pentacles this could have been about a toxic relationship or a toxic relate i keep getting relationship to something now this could be about a toxic relationship to money and maybe how you're spending how you're approaching money that you could be exiting stage left from and because you left that behind or you're leaving it behind come this full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of libra then it's giving you this clear victory in order to go and obtain the, these riches and fulfillment and fulfillment that you so deeply desire is giving you the strength and the fortitude to move forward to go claim your riches and fulfillment but i do want to clarify this um four of pentacles clarify this four of pentacles for our pile number three spirit what is this four of pentacles look the hermit okay this could even be like letting go of being so cooped up or being too introspective about something having a balance between being a hermit and being in the public i feel like you might have gotten over that right being too deep being too introspective or not introspective but like inward like now you're about to maybe display your talents on a public scale is what i'm getting with the hermit you could be letting go of a relationship to a virgo as well or something maybe that a virgo did that you had to let go of and forgive not just for them but for yourself and and whatever that did brought you into alignment with something else but let's let's get deeper um let's get the last manifestation here for you tell us more spirit what last manifestations are coming in for our pile number threes during this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra? What last manifestations? What last manifestations are coming in? Okay, she wants to come out. Come on, last quarter moon in Cancer, take a breather. I feel like spirit is giving you a leg up and giving you this sign like, hey, you've you've done it. You've you've kind of like went to the proverbial mountaintop. You know what I'm saying? Like this hermit card. You've done it. Take a breather. Catch your breath. You can do that. You're in the clear, right? With this ace of swords here. You're in the clear. You are of clear mind, heart, and spirit. So just let the things be. You can relax now. Maybe you might be taking some spiritual baths or be taking time off, getting your home environment in order or something like that in order to collect your lottery win, right? Your riches, your fulfillment. And look, new moon and Gemini, think it through. I feel like there's going to be a lot of abundance that comes in. And what I'm getting here, I'm getting like three storylines. You could be letting go and walking away from a relationship with the Virgo it doesn't have to be that you could be walking away or letting go or loosening the reins of being so introverted that's what i was trying to say earlier <laughs> um or what's happening is gosh oh you can be spirit might be asking you to think something through thoroughly 
when you obtain these riches and fulfillment, they, excuse me, these riches and fulfillment that is coming in. You could have a lump sum, a large sum of money that comes in, pile number threes, and spirits like, wait, before you make any rash decisions, before you just go out spending willy-nilly, willy make some conscious investments in your money. Think it through. Be of higher mind. Take the time out to think about how you're going to distribute this money or how you're going to save some of it and invest um, so you can be financially free. That's what I'm getting as well. So there could be a blessing coming in for you in regards to material wealth. I'm getting that very strongly because you have let go of a certain mentality. But now spirit is testing you on what you're going to do with it. And I wouldn't even necessarily call it a test, but spirit really wants you to think things through before you just go out and spend or distribute or something. Think it through. Be very calculated with what you do with this money and in, in, in a good way. You know, you don't have to be too rigid, but, you know, don't also be too flagrant and having it go out just as quickly as it came in or something like that. Okay. So we're going to roll some astro dice for your last messages. Last messages for our pound of the threes. Your clear, concise, accurate messages for our pound of the threes to end their reading. We have 12th house Virgo and Saturn. You've been working very hard. Some of you have Virgo and Saturn or Virgo in your 12th house. And I feel like on a spiritual basis. So this is almost like a gift from the universe, a gift from spirit, a gift from source. Um, and they want to see how you're going to handle this amount of money. And it could be a good sum. They want to see how you're going to handle this amount so they could give you the more that either you've been asking for but it's like, this is like the first deposit, the first distribution. Okay, how are they going to handle this? Will they put up some, you know, for themselves? Will they pay themselves first, so to speak? Or will they just spend it all or pay, pay only bills or give it all away because they feel like they don't deserve it? What are they going to do with it, right? But spiritually speaking, this is like some type of spiritual lesson or something here in regards to your sense of worth when it comes to these riches and fulfillment, um, fulfillments of the heart that, that, that could be coming your way. Okay. Pile number three. So yeah, my dreamy dreamers. Oh my God. What a great reading. Um, I really hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who will best benefit from the messages provided here today. If y'all are interested in a stunning one-of-a-kind tarot journal, look no further. You can grab yours off Amazon. The link will be in the description box down below. And if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, look no further. The link to that will be in my description box. You can purchase one on my website. Okay. I love you all so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye.